My first day into my new boarding school was a total shock. The school is not a school. In this school, there is no difference between the students and the villagers. Here, I am the youngest, as most of the students are of the same age as the teachers. In fact, some of the students have more children than the teachers. But that was not my problem. My problem was the dining hall. At our dining hall, balance that was a rumor. A rumor that must be told. This is that story that you must sit tightly and listen. The story of my confession. Class 
is drunk. From under the bed, we could hear the furious sounds of students as they rush heading to sleep. As they stream into the dormitories, some were chatting with excitement. Others were laughing with contentment. While others simply looked like sleeping bugs. One particular form one, twice the size of a goat, and half the size of a pig, who pulled off this boy into his bed. <laughs> he fell on it. Who? Instantly, he started snoring like a diesel engine generator. Ba 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 ba! Diggy ba ba! Boom 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 boom! Boom! Hey! Right We both sensed that every student was asleep. We ignored each other. While reaching for matchboxes. At the far end of the dormitory was a pile of mattresses. It kept there stealthily with our bars and banners in hand. We did not waste time. We struck the mattress. Turned on the banners and lit up the pile of mattresses. Quickly, we dashed out of the building shouting, Fire! 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 fire. A loud bomb was heard and billows of smoke occupied the air. As form one students screamed and shouted, as they jumped from their beds, scampering for safety. Some students had to knock windows down for exit, since most of the windows. Head metallic grills. We watched in horror, as the form one student, who was snoring like a generator, struggled to get out of the hostel. Through the metallic grids. Choking voices could be heard from the middle of the smoke. Several voices shrill as the air was filled with calls for help. And feelings of tension. Terror and, and torture. torture. It was then that it hit our minds. What we were seeing was worse than anything we had ever seen. As crowds gathered, Marty, Marty, let any Marty. We joined them and went back to evacuate the students still stuck in the fire. We tried to use the back door. But the smoke was too dominant. We tried to go through the window. But the metallic grills were too far. It was then that we decided to use the congested front door. But before we could get in, a hand pulled us back. The firefighters had arrived. In a short while, the flames of the fire were a distant truth. Tears filled our eyes as the firefighters threw the rubbles and wreckages. Injured students, unconscious students, and even lifeless students. This was not what we had expected. We just wanted to scare the school administration a little. Just, just a little. Please, people, I know you hate us by now. But forgive us. But if you won't forgive us, we will just understand. This juvenile correction center is now our new home. And inside here, we eat Kiberi every day. But as we eat Kiberi every day, let every student know that eating Kiberi every day cannot make you. And will never make you a Kiberi man. And soon never be substituted. And soon never be substituted for human life. To some Tu sabes, tu sabes